hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today we're going to do a lime eyeshadow makeup look it's been long since i did a voiceover for any video in fact it's been quite some time since i actually posted a video but i'm back guys um thank you so much for waiting for me make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed this is my channel we do makeup fashion and beauty welcome to nana's glam world now this is the first thing that i'm doing and it's prepping my skin which um and i'm using the neutrogena hydro boost aqua gel or water gel and i've just applied it all over my face and then i'm going to go in with um others maybelline superstay i believe yes this is the maybelline superstay powder foundation and this is the shade coconut and this is also a hack you can use if you don't have a makeup primer. Now, I do want a mattify um, matte look. I don't want a dewy finish to my makeup today. So that's why I'm doing this. So after applying the Maybelline Superstay uh, Powder Foundation, I'm going to go in with a setting spray just to make sure that I've set everything. So if you do apply the powder foundation and then the setting spray, you know i mean you you can also not add other products but i always like to go in with other products and uh, this is the primer and i'm only going to concentrate this maybelline mattifying primer just on my t-zone which is basically my forehead my nose and slightly on my cheeks and chin so and i'm just going to kind of tap it in gently no no not in we, we don't want it to enter the skin we're just tapping kind of spreading it over the skin uh this is not a moisturizer so you don't want it inside your skin you just want it to be like sitting on top of your skin so after we've done that is when we are going to proceed with the rest of our makeup I absolutely love this primer because it's really really mattifying and it's by maybelline so now after that we are going to do our eyebrows and i just love combing them up with a spoolie it's been a while since i actually like trimmed my eyebrows or shaved them or anything but the results are always better with trimmed brows and then i'm just going to go in with an eyebrow pencil and this one is a dark brown eyebrow pencil so i'm just kind of shading it in filling in you know adding extra hairs because i really have sparse eyebrows you know what i always say is that eyebrows don't have to look identical and also there's no one eyebrow shape for everyone you know people do have different eyebrow shapes i just follow my natural eyebrow shape and then i'm just going to define those eyebrows yeah to make them more visible on my face i'm just going to use a lighter shade of concealer on my face and I'm, uh, the concealer that i'm using is the illegal pro conceal concealer and this is the shade phone yeah, it's just about three shades or two shades lighter than my normal skin tone. So it's perfect for this job. So I'm just going to apply it below and above my eyebrows. And then after that, any remaining, um, actually I'm using a brush, a concealer brush to apply it. And then any remaining concealer I'll apply on my eyelid. I'm just going to let the concealer that I've applied um, around my eyebrows and on my eyelids set a little bit while I apply my eyebrow mascara. This is the pastel eyebrow mascara and it's just supposed to make your eyebrows last all day long. And this is the shade dark brown. So the brand is pastel. The shade is dark brown. Yeah, and I'm um, just going to apply it all over my eyelids using that spoolie that that's been provided by the eyebrow mascara itself yeah so after applying all that is when we will go in and try and blend out the concealer don't let it sit for too long don't let the concealer sit for too long because it might dry out
So now our eyebrows are looking somewhat decent. Uh, what I'm going to do next, next is that I'm going to color correct and I'm going to use an illegal color corrector. This is their orange color corrector and it's usually used to correct dark areas on your skin. So I'm using it for the under eyes of my skin. I, yeah, my under eyes or oh, eye bags, some may call them that. And I'm also going to use them all around my mouth and also any dark spots that are on my face. That is the main purpose of a color corrector if you have dark skin. So after blending the color corrector thoroughly, it's time for foundation and I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match Foundation that is the shade 9N and I'm going to mix it with the L'Oreal um, Serum that is it's a foundation serum and that's the shade 7 to 8 which is yeah tan. That's what I'm mixing. I'm going to mix 9N 7 to 8 and as you can see I've gotten and yeah, perfect shade for my skin tone. You know, it's really hard for foundations to be your perfect shade. But I'd say that this mixture has done a pretty good job. So I'm just going to apply it all over my face. And then I'm going to uh, blend it out using a beauty blender. And I'm going to avoid um, the areas under my eyes because I'm also going to apply more concealer under my eyes. So I'll try and avoid that area as much as possible. As you can see, I've only applied to the rest of my face, but my under eyes, I've avoided applying foundation because it might end up looking cakey or crisp. So we're going to do the blending with a beauty blender, a damp one. Yeah, that's been soaked in water, then squeezed. And that is what we are going to use to blend our foundation. So the first concealer that I'm going to use under my eyes for brightening, I'm actually just going to like highlight my face. So I'm going to brighten my under eyes and this is the NYX Studio Photogenic Concealer. This is the shade uh, Golden Hour, if I'm not, no, not Golden Hour, 6W, which was um, a bit too light. Um, but it's okay because I really want bright under eyes and then we're also going to apply the concealer in the areas I want highlighted on my face. The areas where the light naturally hits your face and makes it blue. So which is like my nose bridge, my forehead. Yeah, so we are going to first uh, um, blend all that out using a brush, a flat brush. And then after using a flat brush, we are going to refine everything using a beauty blender again just to make sure that everything is nicely blended and then after we've done all the blending and we look amazing i'm still going to go in with another concealer yes i know that is crazy but i want really bright under eyes because they give you a more youthful look so i'm going to go in with a maybelline superstay concealer and this is a <laughs> when I say this is not this is a full coverage concealer. This Maybelline Superstay concealer is a full coverage concealer. Like that concealer is going to hide your sins. Yeah. So <laughs> okay, that's just a joke. Of course, it's not going to hide your sins. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to tap it in with a brush, and then again go in with a beauty blender. As you guys can see. And by the way, guys, if at this point you're still watching and you're not yet subscribed to this channel, Nene Glam World, kindly hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so that you're notified anytime I upload a video. And yeah, let's continue. And then now I'm going to just bake that concealer, set it, bake it, set it. Yeah, nowadays people don't use the word bake, they just use the word set. Yeah, so I'm just going to apply a setting powder and the setting powder that I'm using is, um, I believe this was the Maybelline Fit Me powder. 
and that's the shade cappuccino and then i'm just after setting that i'm going to now do my eye makeup yes makeup takes time you need patience so i'm just going to apply a lime green eyeshadow i know on my skin tone it might not look very green it might look a bit like a different shade of green but i promise you it was lime green yeah <laughs> yeah it, it does look a bit like um what shade of green is this mm, i'll find out yeah but it, it looks like uh, some type of natural green you know anyway i had forgotten to do this step before applying the powder which is like contouring my nose but you know i still managed to squeeze it in so i just took a contour concealer and i just applied it like where you basically saw me applying <laughs> yeah so now i'm just going to uh, do my lip makeup and i'm going to first go in with a dark brown pencil this is even a black pencil it's not a dark but sometimes i alternate sometimes i use a dark brown one sometimes i use a black one so in this case i decided to use a black one and then i went in with this maybelline sensational lipstick that's the shade keep it mellow uh, on my skin tone it's not very flattering unless i actually you know do like a really thick lip liner like i have done that's when it becomes at least more bearable but after you've done your thick lip liner it is amazing it makes your lips look like they're naturally pink which well clearly you saw that they are not naturally pink and then now we are going to apply a lip gloss by dior and we are just going to apply it all over our lips mm -hmm. and after applying the lip gloss the next step we are going to do is to highlight our lips again yes i'm obsessed with the highlighting so i'm going to take my normal concealer that i used on my eyebrows which is the illegal concealer in the shade phone and i'm going to apply it all over my lips and then apply after applying it all over my lips i'm going to make sure that i blend thoroughly you know we don't want to look funny so i'm just going to thoroughly thoroughly blend it out just to to make the lips pop more against you know it's supposed to create a contrast between the lip liner that i've applied that is dark and that really light shade of concealer and then after that we are going to remove that powder yeah but first let's finish blending because it's gonna take a while it requires patience oh we are not going to remove the powder fast we are going to do mascara and the mascara that i'm using is the tom ford extreme mascara wonderful mascara i absolutely love this mascara the only issue is that i do not have the eyebrows for this mask eyelashes for that mascara but it's really good and then now we're going to remove the excess powder that we'd applied all over our face to set the concealer so we're going to remove it nice and gentle and then after removing it i think we will do a little bit of blush because our face is just looking a bit too mild so we'll do a little bit of blush and i think i put too much but it's okay we'll blend it out so that blush i'm going to just tap 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 it and and i tend to prefer like blush when it's like up above my cheek than towards my cheeks yeah like on my cheekbones instead of like my cheeks so some people do pull it all the way to your cheeks but it also depends on your face structure and what kind of structure you're also going for and then now i'm just going to take some highlighter a little bit of highlighter and highlight my face. 